welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have a back to school video for you today. I'm super excited. It's how to survive high school. Yes, I finished high school this year so I'm pretty sure I have some knowledge on how to survive your four years of high school or whatever years you have left. So if you're excited, give this video a like, comment down below what videos you want to see in the future and what back to school videos you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and let's start talking about how to survive high school. So the first thing you should know about school is it uh, high school is it's not like how you see it in the movies. Yes, there may be some little things like the movies, but it's not all that. You know, it's who would want to watch what really happens in high school. Being bored, out of your mind, learning. Like, you don't see them learning that much in high school, honestly. You just see them, like, with their boyfriends or with their girlfriends or, like, with their friends and, like, the drama. Yes, there's drama in high school, honey, trust me. But it's not all that. It's really just being bored basically the whole day while in class learning. Number two is you should plan your outfit <clears throat> Sorry, the night before so you have more time to sleep in or do your hair or do your makeup. Whichever one you are more about for me, it was more about sleeping in, to be honest. Um, I like to sleep in. But yeah, definitely plan your outfit the night before just because in the morning you're more like you just want to wear leggings or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or whatever. But the night before you have more time to think about it and if you want to dress nice, you can dress nice. Or if you want to do a little more like casual, casual, which, whichever, but it gives you more time to think of what you want to wear. Number three, definitely help me. If you have one of those teachers who's not keen on having you have a phone out while you're doing school, here's a way to hide it. You grab a book, any book, or basically the one you're learning about, or just like a reading book, then you take your phone and you place it in front, and you basically pretend like you're reading when you're actually Snapchatting or Instagramming or texting somebody back or to everyone you prefer but that's a way to hide your phone in class if you have one of those teachers because yeah probably gonna have one of those eventually. I believe you're on number four right now. The next thing is you should get yourself a planner. This is my planner and there's hair on it. I was cleaning. It says enjoy the little things and what you should do is you should get a planner and just put when you're doing your tests or when you're doing your quizzes or like when they are or like when you have your homework make sure it's done at this time or like you have school events here I'll show you what mine looks like on the inside when you first open it, it says hello <laughs> welcoming me in my planner I wrote this stuff down in the wrong side here we go so I haven't written anything in for July yet because I have been really busy so I haven't had time to write stuff in, but I'm going to write my video ideas in here, what videos I want to upload on what day, or when I should be filming, when I work, when my school starts, and all of that fun stuff. But yes, definitely get yourself a planner because it helps so much. I believe this is five now. <laughs> I don't really remember. Um, the next thing is another studying helpfulness-ness is if you guys have a hard time studying, what helps me is writing it down. So I did flashcards. You can take colorful flashcards and color coat them, or you can do just white flashcards. It just It's all up to you. The lady next door is staring at me right now. Um, all up to you. You can do flashcards, study with a friend, study with a group of people, study with your family, study with anybody you want. And it's just really, really easy, and it helped me in Spanish, like, a lot. Like, I was really bad at Spanish, but flashcards help me. So you should definitely try out flashcards because that really helps as well. Number six, um, don't stay in your room and study because that never helps. You always get distracted by something in your room or something in your house. Go out, go to the park, go to Starbucks, get yourself a coffee and study with a group of people or friends by yourself. Go to, like, Panera Bread or go to wherever you want to go. But... Don't stay in your room all the time because that's very distracting. I found myself, as you guys might know, that probably doesn't help you a lot either. But yeah, definitely going out, adventuring, like go to your park in your neighborhood, go somewhere, just 
try and branch out on where you study, you know? Help yourself. Eight. Um, another way you can help study is reward yourself. Get like a pack of M&Ms, get a Skittle, get a Twix bar, get whatever you want. And like say you have to read or whatever, set yourself to paragraphs. Every time you finish a paragraph, you get five M&Ms or like, oh, two bites of a Twix or something. But always rewarding yourself, I feel like motivates you more because you know like you're getting a reward out of it, which sounds crazy. Um, but yeah, definitely reward yourself when you're studying because it definitely helps you. I kind of given up on the numbers because I think I totally skipped a number, but we're just going to go with number nine, even though I feel like this is number eight when I guess we'll go with eight again. So this is eight again. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, one way I know you get really hungry during school, so bring yourself some snacks. Bring yourself some healthy gummies or a healthy snack. Give yourself like an apple or not like, you like apple slices because it's loud, yeah, you know? So get yourself some like, some peanuts or if you can't have peanuts, get yourself some kind of cashews or something. Like, oh wait, that's nuts. Okay, you know what? Get yourself a healthy snack girl or even don't. Like get yourself Doritos or like a donut or something. Get yourself a healthy snack or a non-healthy snack just so you can keep yourself hung, you're not hungry, but whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. Number nine, um, get yourself some cute school supplies. Like, go to Target, because Target has, like, the best school supplies. And get yourself some really cute school supplies so you feel a little bit better if you're feeling down. Um, your school supplies definitely helps. I know it helps me. If I have cute school supplies, I'm going to use them more. Sounds retarded, but it works. So get yourself some cute school supplies, a cute backpack, like, and you'll be ready to go. And last but not least, number 10. I feel like my camera is crooked, but it's okay. Number 10, don't forget to be yourself. That is the biggest thing. Be yourself. That's, I mean, everybody, if they don't like you for who you are, then forget about them, then they're not important, honestly. You stick to your true colors. Be yourself. Do not change yourself. It's just so this cute boy, oh, there's a fuzz in front of me. This cute boy likes you. No, girl, be yourself, and he should love you for who you are. Don't forget, you are beautiful, and you deserve so much. Don't change yourself for a boy, or anybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I like this whole how to survive high school thing. I'm gonna do some other school videos in the future. I'm not sure what yet, so leave some comments down below and give me some ideas of what you wanna see. Don't forget to subscribe, and I have to burp. <clears throat> okay, sorry. That was gross. But I love you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!